Other news this weekend was quite sad for many of us. Actor comedian Taylor Negron passed away. You remember Taylor from his films, um, Fast, what was it, Fast something? Fast every time, time, Fast, fast times. Times. High. Um, he was also in Easy Money with Rodney Dangerfield, his stand up routines. He had an appearance on Seinfeld once as Elaine's hairdresser. He was the consummate comedian, consummate Hollywood professional. But to us, Taylor was a wonderful friend and really enjoyed his visits to Western New York. Let's take a look. All right, actually, we're going to take a look in just a second, but Eddie Dobashev is here because, Eddie, you brought him here to Western New York, or you befriended him once he got here. We started doing some comedy shows back in the 80s, and uh, we just became fast friends, and then I brought him into town uh, numerous times to perform at uh, some of the clubs that I had, uh, the Comedy Trap, then we wound up doing so many other things over the years. Uh, we just became really, really close friends. He was a real easy guy to be a friend with. He was, he was wonderful. It was heartbreaking for me this weekend. You even had him on uh, Offbeat, and we're going to roll a little of that just so oh, you remember this, uh, the this, tailor that we knew. This uh, thing was... We uh, um, were driving around. He was in town for the weekend, and we were driving around looking for estate sales. And we saw an estate sale at this house on Lincoln Parkway. So we went in there. We were with our friend Gordon, and uh, we found some cool stuff. And But the house was really cool, and it was almost empty. The people had, I guess the people had died that had lived there, and, and so they were selling all the stuff. So we wound up calling Frank Pacella, who's the producer yes. of AM Buffalo. Yeah. And uh, we said, Frank, can you get a camera? And he says, yeah, OK. So we went down and we made this film on the fly. It was unbelievable. The real estate agent, we got our kids involved in it, and it was just this, this really great thing. And uh, eventually well, we wound up putting it out uh, on the Internet, but this was, like, way before YouTube even yeah, existed. that's right. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that's the kind of stuff that, that we would do. He and I would, uh, like just uh, do this off-the-cuff stuff. We, we made another one at the Albright Knox one time. Um, hey, didn't you guys go to the Galleria and the whole premise was that he was looking for slacks? We, we went to, uh, slacks. there was a store called Harry Rose. Yes. As a matter of fact, the coat that I wore today, I bought that coat there, and, and we made this film because uh, we thought we would get a discount on some suits. We wanted some Giorgio Armani, and we and we didn't want to pay a $1,000, you know? So, <laughs> Uh, we also have um, the late Brian Kale when, when, when uh, um, we had Taylor here on the set. Let's listen to a little of this from years ago. I tell you, after, <laughs> with us on the bagpipe, Scotland may set, we may set Scotland back 100 years. I know. I'm really thrilled Very about that. Yeah, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Are you I am tired today. i got to tell you, because we were at the Comedy Tramp last night, and I don't know what time you got out of there. It was about 1 o'clock when I got out of there. Yeah, I left about 2 o'clock. It was really fun. <laughs> Brian was on the Comedy Trap last My night. My debut. He did really good. Thank I'm really you. very Thank proud you. of you. You did great. You mayor, right? Absolutely. We'll do that. And we had a really good time. All right. And I think it was me on the other side, but that's okay, because it was Brian's lead. That was um, his very first appearance yeah. on AM Buffalo. It was, yeah. it, it was a, a very controversial show because yeah. it was the first day that a new general manager was here at the station. That's right. And the show was kind of racy. John Balby <laughs> was on the yeah. show. And, and uh, I, I'm not going to go into the details of what you was said. Imagine. right. But the, the general manager, first day on the job, he comes down here, you know, all up in arms. And, and uh, John DeShula, who was producing the show then, he said, well, we're up against Donahue. we got to be a little edgy. <laughs> you know, you, you, Taylor had a funny face. You'd look at Taylor, and he would just look at you, and you'd crack up. And yeah. I'd say, Taylor, I don't know what it is about you, but you're just funny. And then he'd look at me like he was hurt. And I'd say, no, I don't mean it that way. Look at you. Oh, yeah, look at that, you, that, baby. Good. Wow. Wow. Cool, yeah. Man, get some that, that, oh, that was you on the side. It wasn't me. All right. Look. <laughs> wow. But he, look at him. He was just, he was just funny. And no matter what he did, he, I don't know if it was his impersonations or just the way he looked at life. But he was been, really intelligent. He was you know? very, and, and, very smart. And, and very well versed. Yep. And, and, and uh, you know, he was an artist. He was a painter. He was a poet. Yes. He was a comic. He was an actor. He was every man. Yeah. He lived in France. He had a house in France. For a while. And he had, yes. Yeah, a he would take chateau. off and go to France. Yes. You know? But you were telling me about um, his illness. He's been sick. He was sick for quite a while. Yeah, about eight years. Oh. Yeah. And he had cancer. He had cancer. He had liver cancer. And, and um, you know, he had had a remission. And so he got a lot better. But uh, it started getting bad. And uh, actually, they thought that he had a chance because he had just had a procedure last Thursday. But it just rapidly uh, deteriorated. Eddie, did he perform? 
um, once he had gotten sick, or did he just? You oh know? no, yeah, he he did this thing called the Uncab Array. Uh, he was one of the founding uh, members of that, which was kind of. Uh, how do you describe it? A combination of, of comedy, poetry, and music. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I think the last time he was in town, oh, this, this was him in Punchline. This was, this was uh, uh, a movie with Tom Hanks and Sally Field about the comedy club industry. <laughs> oh, Al Young. Yeah. Uh, you don't want <laughs> cop it. You yeah. want an ad. You know, uh, it, We would go down the street, at, no matter where we were, uh, the Chicago, uh, uh, New York, uh, Toronto. People would start yelling that out. <laughs> you know, or, or hey, pizza guy! You know he was in so many memorable little uh, uh, cameo roles or, or character parts. Um, but like I was saying, this uncabaret thing was a—it it was really innovative. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, uh, like I said, a combination of uh, poetry and, and music and, and comedy, and very artistic and very literate. Uh, and uh, he was doing that. He was—he had a couple of uh, small plays, one-man shows. Was, uh, he was working, uh, he hardest working man in show business. Do we have any idea about his, his final resting plans? Uh, as of last night, there weren't any official services or anything yet. There will be a couple. There will mm. probably be one in Palm Springs, which is where his uh, parents are, and his father's really ill, so oh. they don't want to make him travel. Uh, then there will probably be one in Los Angeles, uh, uh, maybe even one in New York. I, I have a, a funny, funny feeling that Taylor Negron will be even more famous in death than he was mm -hmm. in life. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the outpouring of uh, emotion that has erupted over the last couple of days, it's wow. I've, I've been hearing from so many people on Facebook. Yeah. Like, didn't, weren't you guys friends? Didn't you know him? I've got uh, a great picture of Taylor. Now, we've known Taylor a long time. You know my son's 23 now. When Brett was one, yeah. you guys were having lunch at Chef's right. appearance, and you said, that's, come on down. That's right. I remember that. I Brett up from daycare. I, came, I brought him with me, came <laughs> down. And the first thing I did was pop him right on, on Taylor's lap. Yeah. And I got this great picture with Taylor and that look on his face with my son sitting on his lap, both of them yeah. having, having spaghetti at chefs. Yeah. Iconic moments. He was so, he was such a giving right. person. He loved children. He loved, you know, my, my kids uh, only knew him as Uncle Taylor, you know, and the, he, 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 would, he would become one of them. Um, but he had that ability with people no matter what their yeah. age was. Yeah, he loved just talking to people and, and it, he didn't goof on people. He goofed with them. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. And he was I, never condescending. No, he wasn't no. one of those comics. Mm -mm. He was, he was just. Listen, I, I, I can't tell you I, I, what a hole in my heart I, I felt over the last couple of days. I, he was, the likes of him will not come mm -hmm. along often, if ever again. He was one of our first original. Um, uh, regular contacts with Hollywood yeah. was Taylor because every time he would come here, he would stay. He'd yeah. have him stay a few more right. days. He'd get to know a little bit more about Absolutely. Western. He liked us. Oh, he loved us, and and and, us. and the, he loved Buffalo. Yes. He he kept wanting to come here in the fall. He would always say, "We well, must go apple picking," and <laughs> I, I, I I must buy a house. I I want to I want to yes. live in the Finger Lakes. Yes. And, and, uh, <laughs> But anytime I would go to Los Angeles, I remember one time I, I came here right afterwards. There was a press junket. I don't even remember. I think it was uh, uh, Ice Princess or whatever the movie yeah. was. Uh, I got stuck. I missed a, a flight because one of the stars was temperamental and wasn't on time. And I missed a flight and I had to stay and I didn't have a hotel room. So come to my house, Taylor said. And we threw this impromptu dinner party. Richard Belzer came over. My friend Victoria Looseleaf came oh over. Gosh. It was. It was Wonderful. We we drank wine. We made beef bourguignon, and 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 we just reveled it's in Taylor. old Hollywood stories and talked about France and and Buffalo and and that's where I first hooked up with Ray Evans, the guy who wrote Silver yes, Bells. Yes, from uh, Western Because New York. Victoria Looseleaf, who has ties to Tonawanda, she was writing a book about him, and and it just all can. It's such a small world. Well, and, I'll tell you, Taylor Taylor Negron will be missed, but he'll always be remembered. Yeah. And he was a friend of ours. Listen, you're going to stay because okay. we're going to be running your latest Queen City Chronicle, which we absolutely love here yeah. on this show. Okay? You'll love this one. All right, so you're going to stand by and you're going to let us know more about that. Our wonderful Taylor Negron, our friend, uh, passed away this weekend, and we love him, and again, he will be missed.